Good evening, and thank you for attending the 8th Annual Livonia Police Department Memorial Service. Tonight, we come together to remember the ultimate sacrifice made by four Livonia police officers during their service to our community. And we're also going to honor the nine Michigan law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty this past year. We come here to Nee Hazel Park to honor and celebrate the lives of our fallen and to support their families and their friends as we all remember our lost ones. Those family members here tonight are Patrolman Sidney Detloff's daughter, Sandra Kelsey. Officer Irvin Johnston's children, Justin and Lauren. And Officer Larry Niehazel's wife and sister, Linda and Cheryl. I would like to recognize a few key members of our community who have made Knee Hazel Park a reality. Mayor Jack Ingebretson, Mayor Jack Kirksey, Council Member Kathleen McIntyre, past Council Member Brandon Kritzman, the architect for the park, Lori Cade, Bob Sakuda. Sue Barna, and Ed Morris. Also with us this evening are retired police chiefs Bob Stevenson and Curtis Cade. Thank you all for being here. And at this time, I'd like to introduce the Mayor of Livonia, Maureen Miller Brosnan. Good evening, everyone, and thank you all so much for joining us tonight. For generations, courageous men and women of our Livonia of the city's police department have dedicated their lives to protecting the residents, the businesses, and the visitors of the city of Livonia. Every morning, they don their uniforms, they walk out the door to work, and they hope that they're going to come home safely. Thankfully, this year, all of our public safety heroes made it home to tuck in their kids, to kiss their spouses, and to call their parents. But sadly, in other communities, some did not. Tonight, we gather to express our gratitude for these public servants who put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe and honor those who came before them who lost their lives in the line of duty. Chief Goralski often refers to Larry Nee Hazel Park in this memorial, Sacred Ground, and I'm certain that you join me in sharing that reverence for what this memorial site symbolizes. But we built it to be more than just a symbol. When we built it, we made a commitment to not just honor those who sacrifice their lives in service of our community's safety when we come together at this annual event, but to remember and honor their sacrifice year round. This memorial is a permanent testament in our to our enduring gratitude to our fallen heroes, and it's a daily reminder that we must serve in their honor. Tonight's ceremony is particularly meaningful each year, but in recent years, events like these are becoming even more significant. They are the means by which a community gathers to show our support for police officers who keep us safe during times when their role in our communities are being challenged. Tonight's event serves as a reminder that we must not accept the false choice between public safety and equal justice. The solution is not in defunding our police. The solution is in making our community safer through policing that treats everyone with dignity and respect. The solution is in providing officers with the resources, tools, and the training that they need to keep our city safe. Tonight's event serves as a reminder that we must re reject those who call for defunding our police. We know that public safety and justice go hand in hand. Providing officers with the resources, tools, and training that they need to keep us safe is an investment in our pledge of liberty and justice for all. Well-trained police officers are the partners and the protectors that our city needs to be safe. So tonight, 
we gather to support all who heard and answered the call to a career in law, law enforcement and public safety. Those who trained for the worst so they could be at their best when we needed them the most. Tonight, we gather to show gratitude to their loved ones. Your presence here is a reminder of your sacrifice too because no one answers the call to, the ser to service to this community alone. It's answered as a family. So it's important that you know as members of their families that you play an important role in the legacy, the service, and the sacrifice that defines our department's history. Tonight, we gather to memorialize those we lost in the line of duty. This ceremony is a reminder that our Livonia community is still touched and affected by their loss and their sacrifice. You know, we often lean toward focusing on the end of watch, but tonight I ask you to focus for a moment on the years of dedicated service that our fallen heroes have given to our community. On the Livonia Police Department's social media page when this event was announced, there were many comments from residents that shared memories of times when these fallen officers who gave, gave them aid personally or came to their assistance in the community. And it's these stories that I'm hoping lift us up tonight because we cannot forget the countless numbers of Livonia residents and Livonia families who were served by these officers over the years of, their, of the time that they were in service here. What a legacy their service has left. And so, may we find comfort in not just their memories, but the warmth that their service generates in the hearts of the Livonia community members to this day. I want to thank the family and the friends of these fallen heroes who are joining us tonight. Know that the men and women of our department carry the weight of your sacrifice with them every single day. They aim to serve with the spirits of your heroes as they keep our community safe and aim to live up to the example that's been laid before them. On behalf of the entire city of Livonia, I want to share with you my gratitude for the service of our law enforcement over the history of our city and, is, and in the days to come. When something or someone threatens to challenge our safety, our way of life, the men and women of our Livonia Police Department have always been on watch for us. Please know that those who are serving and those who have served are in our hearts and in our minds this evening, and that we join you in the continued commitment of keeping the memory of their sacrifice alive. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you to all the elected leaders that you see throughout the crowd tonight who come every year to support us on this night. Thank you for supporting us. At this time, I would ask that you stand as our honor guard lowers the American flag to half staff in honor of our fallen, and then join the recent graduates of the Citizens Police Academy of Livonia in the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, Police Chaplain Lindman for the invocation. Oh Lord, you have been our dwelling place from generation to generation. From everlasting to everlasting, you alone are God. Before the mountains were formed, the earth was born, 
you brought us forth. You returned man back to dust, Father. We are feeble and frail, but you're the everlasting God. Father, I thank you for the formation of three institutions. You've granted us the family, the very foundation for all government. Father, you've granted us government for protection, and you've granted us the church for worship. Tonight, Father, we thank you for the families in this community. Father, we thank you for a government that is sound, a government that is concerned about the safety and protection of our families and loved ones in this community. Father, we especially lift up to you the men and women of our police department. We thank you for their service, Father. No greater love has this than a man lays down for another, Father. And we have men and women willing to do that in this community. Tonight, we honor those that have fallen, Father. We thank you, Lord, that we can come and give them the recognition that's due. Father, we ask now for our city that your hand of protection will be upon it. We thank you for our government. We thank you for the faithful men and women of the police department, Father. We ask that your hand of unbinding protection would be on them, Father, tonight as we honor their service. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Honor Guard, post the wreath.
And now we'll call on and honor our fallen heroes, beginning with our four Livonia officers. Patrolman Sidney Detloff, end of watch, June 23, Officer James Kelly, April 10, 1992. Officer Irvin Johnston, end of watch, January 17, 2007. Officer Larry Niehazel, end of watch, January 17, 2011.
And now we honor the nine Michigan law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty this past year. Wayne County Sheriff's Office, Corporal John Joseph Wojciechowski, and of watch December 21st, 2021. Wayne County Sheriff's Office, Corporal Ernest M. Robinson, end of watch, January 18th, 2022. Detroit Police Department, Corporal Darrell Dwayne Cross, Jr. End of watch, July 8th, 2021.
Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office, Sergeant Ryan J. Proxemeyer, and to watch August the 15th, 2021. Branch County Sheriff's Office, Corrections Deputy, Kevin Kokinis, end of watch, August the 22nd, 2021. Shiawassee County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Daryl Lamar Henderson, end of watch, September the 11th, 2021. Kent County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Sheriff David Cook, end of watch, November the 1st, 2021.
Flint Police Department, Captain Colin Burney. End of watch, February the 4th, 2022. Detroit Public Schools Community District Police Department, Police Officer Freddie Wilson, end of watch, March the 10th, 2022. If everyone could now light their candles. Everyone can sit down, please.
Please stand as the honor guard will do a three volley salute. Please prepare your children for it. It will be loud. Please be seated. That was Franklin High School sophomore Josh and Signy playing taps. What a wonderful job. Thank you, Josh. <coughs> Chaplain Thomas for the benediction. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Great and merciful God, God of justice and right, we have gathered here today in your sight to recognize, acknowledge, and honor your servants who have selflessly given the full measure of devotion and sacrifice. Those who have stepped forward in courage and integrity and have made a true difference in our lives and in the life of our community. We give you thanks for the witness of their leadership, bravery, strength of character, and above all else, their sacrifice. We pray that as we remember them, we too may be inspired to be a people of truth and honor. Help us to learn and to hold fast to what they have given for us all. Keep us ever mindful as we stand with their memory of your presence with us in our lives, of your hand upon our shoulders, guiding us and pointing us in the way of all that is good. As we learn from them the meaning of their courageous actions, and with you as our companion on the way, lead us always in wisdom, dignity, and right judgment. Keep all in law enforcement in your care. Bless them and guard them. Bless their families and all of us gathered here. Bless our community with peace and strengthen us in times of adversity. Help us to walk with each other in the ways of justice and right. We ask this of you, Lord, who are with us in all we seek to accomplish for good. You who are our God of might, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. As we close this evening's ceremony, I would like to thank the many men and women of the Livonia Police Department for their commitment, dedication, and service to the citizens that we serve. Both sworn and civilian members, they strive for excellence 
in their delivery of police services to our residents, our business owners, and our visitors. Our officers are blessed to serve this community, this community that supports its public safety so strongly. And there are many examples to prove that point, but perhaps none greater than where we are standing right now. This park is a constant reminder of that support. In a time of terrible grief and loss, this community came together and built this park. From all of us in law enforcement, past and present, we truly thank you. We are keenly aware of the dangers for our police officers. And so I'd like to read a passage that's inscribed on our memorial. They bring a message to our home when all is not well and we are alone. They come to us no matter the need, handle the problem, complete the deed. They lay their personal feelings aside. They do their job. They have great pride. And if one should fall among life's things, the badge they wear turns into wings. Law enforcement especially today, is a very challenging career. But it is a noble profession, a profession that charges every officer with the duty to protect the community, to bond with the community, with the goal of peace and happiness for all of us. I want to thank the members of our Honor Guard they commit themselves to being distinguished members and representatives of the Livonia Police Department and the City of Livonia. They are recognized as one of the finest honor guards in our state. Special thanks to Diane Wartari and Latasha Walter and Raleigh Hoskins who helped to make tonight's event a success. Thank you. And I would also like to acknowledge and thank the Parks Division and DMB Landscaping for their efforts in making the Memorial Park as beautiful as it is. Lastly, I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending tonight's event, for taking the time to remember and recognize our law enforcement heroes. We deeply appreciate it. As our chaplains have expressed, may our law enforcement officers continue to be blessed as they serve this great community. And, we, and may we never forget the ultimate sacrifice made by our fallen heroes. Thank you all for being here. This concludes the memorial service. Please join us for refreshments. Thank you.